Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be planning my memory spread and this is for the week of August 26th through September 1st. Um, for this week I am going to be using this kit from Happy Sherpa Papery and she sent this along for me to try out. I did just upload a haul video with this kit so some of you might have already seen that and already know what's included in the kit but for those of you that missed that video I'm going to really quickly go over what's included so you know what I'm working with today. Um, so the first thing that comes with this kit is a matching little sheet of these icon stickers and it comes with quite a few different things like a camera, envelope, a stack of books, a coffee, um, things like that that are pretty functional especially for work or school related tasks. And um, here we have a sheet of little things in four different colors and we've got the full boxes on this page. This kit is called Tropical Leaves and I just think this kit is so pretty and also really perfect to kind of close out the summer since I am still planning for the end of August. Um, so yeah I'm just kind of looking for these type of like transitional kits between summer and fall and for some reason I just thought this one worked really well. Um, the quote box here says smile more. On this page we have the full box checklist and then here we have the bottom washi and washi strips. Here we've got the headers and I love this little font that she uses. I think it's so cute and then we have eight full boxes here. And on the last page, we have different sized flags. We have three and six heart check flags. We have a Hello Weekend banner, some circle icons, build do stickers, habit trackers, and then four quarter boxes here at the bottom. Um, the only thing that I'll probably need to find and pull in for my collection will be more quarter boxes. I tend to use quite a lot of those. Um, so I don't think four will be enough for me, but she does include these um, like plain colored washi strips. So I might be able to use those as well. I'll just kind of have to see as I go along with the plan. Planning. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in watching me plan, then go ahead and stay tuned um, and I will explain how I build this spread. Before I talk about my spread, I wanted to mention that the owner of Happy Sherpa Paper Read did send along a coupon code for all my subscribers. And so um, it's going to be Happy Peep for 20% off your purchase, which is really generous. So um, if you're interested in checking out her shops, she has tons of really cute kits. And um, yeah, just be sure to use my coupon code for a little discount, which is always nice. Um, so anyways, moving on to my spread. For this week, um, in the bottom washi section, I decided to pull in this really skinny, um, pink washi that I had in my collection. I think I got that from Target as part of like a Valentine's Day washi bundle and I've never actually used it before so this is my first time pulling it in and then I moved to my sidebar and whited out the large hexagon and put down the quote box in the top corner. For this spread, I decided to pull in glitter headers from Mandy Dreams. Um, so I pulled in that pink one, which I later switched out for a slightly like lighter pink one because I thought it matched the spread a little bit better. The habit tracker is from the kit, and then I used a strip of washi with one of those full box checklists to mark my happy moments for the week. I then put down another washi strip with the Monday through Sunday box, um, which also came in the kit, to mark my dinners, and then I just closed out the remaining space with a strip of patterned washi. The Happy Moment script sticker was sent to me by a super sweet planner friend named Brittany. And then um, I also used a Maru from Paper and Milk. And for my dinners, I put down a script sticker from Plans with Vanessa with a utensil sticker, and that is from the Coffee Monsters Co. Moving on to Monday, I first put down a glitter header at the top, and then I used a quarter box with this coffee sticker from One Little Sunshine Shop. I'm not sure if she still has those because I actually purchased them years ago before she rebranded. And then on Monday, um, there was a student who was having a really hard time coming to school and was showing some really aggressive behaviors. So um, me and my coworkers pretty much became like punching bags. So I used this like punching mochi sticker that's from Mochi Kichi, and I just thought that was so perfect to mark the situation. Then I moved to the bottom and used a full box with a today header on top of that. In the remaining space, I put down a quarter box. I think that was from my leftover stash. And then that bow paper clip sticker is from Sticky Fingers Co. I used that to mark a meeting that I had with some parents that day. And then I used this little sticky note sticker. I can't remember which shop that was from or if it came in the kit, but I used that to mark another meeting that we had that afternoon. I then put down a flag sticker with this really tired girl from Artbox Studio um, to mark that I was just feeling so exhausted that day. There was just a lot of mental and physical exertion. Um, so yeah, it was definitely quite a day. Um, but anyways, that night we went over to some friend's house for dinner and I haven't seen them in quite a while. So it was really great getting to spend time with them. And I used my zebra brush lettering pen to write that. 
I used this text sticker from Once More With Love that said, hashtag too full, can't move, because that's kind of how I felt. We ate so much food. And then my boyfriend decided to make a surprise appearance in my video. So that's him right there. And what's really funny is that when I was editing this video, I had recorded it so long ago that I forgot that this happened. So when this part came up, I was like super confused, like what the heck, why are my hands so huge um, before I remembered what happened. But anyways, um, on Tuesday, I started by putting down a work header at the top and then I used an appointment label with a laptop sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that I worked on some reports that morning. And then I used a little things with a meal icon from the kit to mark where I went and grabbed some lunch. And then I used this like little work sticker from the functional sheet that came with the kit to mark a meeting that we had that afternoon. I then put down a full box with that workout sticker that's from Hazel Sticker, and then I decided to switch around the glitter headers that I had put down on Monday and everything. I don't really remember why, um, but I think there was just something about the placement that I wanted to change, and so I ended up putting down a dark green glitter header at the bottom of Monday, and then a light green one on top of the full box on Tuesday. On Tuesday evening, I had dinner with my parents. This was their last week in town. So I put that on a half box and the bow sticker is from Tickled Pink Planning. And then that night I started playing this cat game. It's called like, I think it's just called the cat game, but basically you just collect a bunch of different cats, which sounds totally ridiculous, but it's so fun. And the cat sticker I used is from Samantha May Sticks. Before starting Wednesday, um, this is where I switched out that pink glitter header on the sidebar for a lighter colored one instead, and then I used the same one at the top of Wednesday. I put down the full box with the girl. I think she's so fabulous. I love her braid. And then underneath that, I put down a to-do header with a quarter box and some glasses stickers. Those were from my leftovers collection, so I don't know where that's from. Um, but I used that to mark that I did some observations at work that day. And then I went and met up with my parents at an outlet mall. So we did a little bit of shopping and I got some new work clothes. And um, I put that on a half box. Um, the cat shopping sticker, I believe, is from Itty Bitty Sticker Co. My parents and I went and got some Japanese food for dinner that night, so I used a um, Japanese food sticker, and that's from Hazel Sticker. Her food stickers are always so realistic, like I had a bento box, and that's pretty much exactly what it looked like. And then at the end of the night, I just put down a little things header with a two heart checklist, and I had intended to mark that I just caught up with my boyfriend that night because he didn't get a chance to come to dinner with us, so we just kind of caught up on our days. And then moving to Thursday, I first put down a today header at the top, and with the new planners, I found that it's kind of hard to line up the headers because of the rounded edges at the top. And then continuing with Thursday, I put down this working mochi sticker from Mochi Kichi to mark that I had a really busy day at work. And then um, I used a little things with this computer sticker. I want to say it's from the Sparkly Studio to mark a meeting that I had um, during the day. I then went and picked something up at the district office, so I used a flag with a car sticker from Nicole Hutch Designs. Those cars are so versatile and they come in like every color. They're so tiny and perfect to pull into small spaces, so I've been really liking those icons. And then when I got home that day, I finally did a workout, so I used a half box with this workout girl sticker, um, and that's from a shop that is unfortunately not open anymore. Underneath that, I put down a glitter header with a full box, and I just marked that my parents came over for the night. I didn't really do anything on Thursday, honestly, so I was kind of like grasping at straws to find things to mark on that day, um, just to fill up all the space. But anyways, I also used a smiling emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. At the end of the night, we watched the show Fleabag, which is one of the best shows I've ever seen. I so highly recommend it if you haven't already checked it out. And um, I put that on a scallop label with a um, TV icon, which I believe is from Brandy's shop. Moving on to Friday, I first started by layering some of those pattern headers at the top, and then I used a TGIF sticker from Little Red Prints. I got those forever ago, so I don't know if those are still available, um, but I haven't used one in a while, so I wanted to pull it in. And then I used a quarter box with a coffee sticker that came in that little functional sheet with the kit um, to mark that I got a morning coffee that day. I then used a glitter header with a full box and I put down the one with the polka dots. It's really hard to read writing over polka dot print. Um, so I pulled in this half box from Echo Hui Craft Co to mark a meeting that I had on Friday morning. For some reason, I decided to place down a full box at the bottom of Saturday. Um, so I was kind of working a little out of order, um, but I quickly returned to Friday and I used a little things to mark where I got lunch that day. 
I then used a don't forget header with a half box. Um, Friday was my parents' last day in town and we were dropping them off at the airport that night. And so we went and got our last dinner together at our favorite Korean food restaurant. So I used that tofu bowl sticker, which is from um, Plans with Vanessa. And like I said, after dinner, we dropped off my parents at the airport. Um, they were heading back to Taiwan, which is where they live. And um, I was really sad to see them go. I mean, they were here for quite a long time. This was like the longest that they visited um, since they moved away. And so, I don't know, it was just really nice and I was sad to see them go. The airplane sticker is from the kit and then this crying girl is from Sun Fun Stickers. Moving to the weekend, I first put down a couple strips of header at the top and then I layered that really cute Hello Weekend banner on top. Um, I love the font that she uses. I think it's so adorable. And then I put down a scallop label with a phone icon to mark that I FaceTime one of my best friends that morning. I placed down a glitter header on top of the full box and then I moved to the remaining space. I used a to-do header with a three heart checklist to mark some places that I went that day. And I did a little shopping, so I pulled in this Shopping Girl sticker from Little Star Plans. I then realized that I did not have enough space on Saturday to mark everything that I wanted. So I went ahead and trimmed down the full box quite a bit um, just so I can make a little bit more room. Um, Saturday was one of my really good friend's birthday. And so um, we drove up to LA to celebrate with her and I wanted to put that on the half box, but it just, everything took up so much space that I ended up trimming down the top and the bottom of the half box just a little bit so that I could um, have a little more room. A couple of our other friends were also going up to the birthday party, so we all drove together. Um, again, that car icon is from Nicole Hutch Designs. And then to mark my friend's birthday party, I used that half box with balloon stickers from Kylie and Chaos. That is it for Saturday, so I go ahead and move to Sunday. First, I used a Today header at the top, and then I used a quarter box with this um, really uncomfortable girl from Sun Fun Stickers to mark that I was having some major stomach problems that day. I think I just ate something bad the day before, and so I was like really struggling for a couple days there. Um, our friends who drove to LA with us actually spent the night, and um, they left on Sunday morning, and so I wanted to mark that. The car circle icon is from the kit. I then put down a dark green glitter header with a full box, and on top of that, I used some nap stickers from Paper and Milk. I think it says like doing a snooze. And I think that's so cute um, because I did take a really long nap that day. And then that night we went over to a couple of our other friends' house. Um, we did steak night at their place because they had gotten these really delicious and amazing steaks. And so, yeah, it was really fun getting together with them. And that steak sticker is from Happy Dia Stickers. Above that, I used a little things with a shopping cart icon from the kit to mark that we did some groceries really quick before that because I was bringing an appetizer. So I had to go and get the ingredients for it. And then I switched out the shopping sticker on Saturday. Um, this one came in that little functional sheet and I just feel like it was a little smaller so it fit better in that space. Um, and now I'm just filling in my sidebar, tracking my workouts, my happy moments, and my dinners. And once I'm done with that, I go ahead and show you guys all the stickers that I have left in this kit. After after I um, complete this spread and yeah that concludes my plan with me for today um, I love how this turned out I don't use greens very often in my planning so it's really kind of fun to pull in these greens especially like the darker shades and um, yeah I think it contrasted really nicely with the light pink um, so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this please let me know if you have any questions um, as always thank you so so much for watching and for supporting my channel and that's about it so I will talk to you guys next time bye